project, 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 Pat, Pat raised me. Raise me. Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is JP. I'm your new fresh face homegirl. You just don't know it yet. Okay. <laughs> and if you're returning, welcome back. Today is Tuesday, November the 28th. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> it is 7.51. I am on my way to work. This is my first day back in about a week five or six days uh, since I've physically been in the office and per usual the day would not be a day okay for me wouldn't start it off right if I was not running around doing stuff I ain't got no business and also um, running behind schedule okay all of those things is what's taking place this morning I left the house <clears throat> excuse me a little bit later than I wanted to um, and then I also needed to make a stop at CVS. You guys just saw that. Here's my CVS bag. If you're looking for a bomb brow definer, I highly suggest you guys try this because I have been loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it ever since I used it. And as you, as y'all saw in CVS, they had a lot of brow definers that looked exactly like this, which I don't want. Also picked up some tights as well because I've been saying that I wanted to get some more uh, tights just to add to my tights collection if you want to call it a collection because I do wash these in a washing machine even though I shouldn't I should hand wash and dry I'm rebellious and disobedient at times and when it comes to these stockings baby I throw these bad boys in the wash so over a period of time they get holes in them runs in them lint on them you know they just don't give what they should at 35 almost 36 definitely giving adolescent vibes okay so I wanted to pick up another pair because I was in there I also have my T-Mobile Tuesday bag we have yesterday's leftovers which Bay says slapped okay Bay and Zay was like yeah this whole meal hit I'm really glad that I decided to do the potato salad um with the fried fish jambalaya and corn on the cob husband I told y'all they will if you didn't watch the previous vlog you wouldn't know what the heck I'm talking about so you could either pause this video now and check out the thumbnail to the previous video on the screen now which is also linked in the description box down below or since you here you comfortable or whatever you enjoying the vibes you don't necessarily have to leave just circle back around yonder and check out that video so that way you guys can be all caught up either way i totally appreciate you guys for tuning in oh yeah so husband and zay really enjoyed the flavor of the corn as i told y'all that they would because they really like spicy corn i tried it as well with my meal and it wasn't as spicy as i thought it was going to be so i actually brought one um with me today i have two tupperware containers because i only have two compartment what do they call them meal prep containers and i've been saying for the longest i've said it here and there on camera and i i be when my mama is out because i primarily tell her <laughs> that i need to get um the meal prep containers with more than two uh, storage compartments I need like five um, and I've seen some circular shaped ones uh, with some pretty decent size portion compartments so I need to tap in and invest in that I also need a new pod set so I'm saying all that to say eventually we're gonna pull up somewhere and get a new pod set and we're also going to get some additional Tupperware and some more meal prep containers because it's about that time. In addition to my T-Mobile Tuesday bag, I also have my energy drink here. We purchased this in yesterday's vlog as well. Um, this is the 2023 winter edition of the Red Bull. Now I'm putting 2023 on it because last year they came out with the winter edition um, and I really loved it. I really, really love the winter edition and I believe it's still floating out there in, in the atmosphere and in the universe. They didn't totally take it back once winter was over with. Uh, but this one is new. This is a new one for uh, this year's winter season. And I am very skeptical to try it. I ain't even for the cap to y'all. Cheers.
okay it's pear cinnamon i taste the pear i'm not mad at it i don't taste no cinnamon Mm -mm. this is my face when i'm looking for something y'all and i'm really internally looking for the cinnamon taste like i mm, i don't know if y'all have tried this leave me some comments down below it's not bad i would definitely get it again i was just expecting a more um stronger cinnamon taste. take this opportunity to catch you guys up on a few things since we in traffic and barely moving baby i should have rolled the regular people's side because they over there straight getting to the bag okay meanwhile i'm stuck like chuck it is what it is anyway um so husband's car yesterday in yesterday's vlog i gave y'all a bit of an update on that um again check out yesterday's vlog i'm not gonna go into that whole spiel but what i will say is that he did pick up his car yesterday he picked it up yay mm, 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 mm. short-lived celebration but we still celebrate the smile wins so he picked it up yesterday and um shortly after he started riding back to the house he called and he was like um i think we got a problem i was like oh lord what's the problem he was like my steering wheel is shaking while i'm driving the car he was like does your, does your steering wheel shake like when you try to accelerate i was like absolutely not i was like no that sounds like it's a new problem and you need to turn around stat and take it back and um he was a little hesitant but i i told him i was like you know you do what you want to do but if it was me i would turn around and take it back because it seems as though there's a lot of vehicles that need repairs it's a lot of recalls going on and it's not just a hyundai issue it's just the automobile issue altogether manufacturing issue altogether and i was like the last thing you want to do is drive that car home and number one the problem get worse right and he was like oh yeah i absolutely i absolutely agree with you on that and i was like uh, and and aside from that you drive the car home ain't no telling who they gonna give that loaner to in between time so when you take your car back that loaner might not be there and then you're gonna be stuck out which is what happened to my cousin for a period of time she was having car trouble she also drives a hyundai and um she took it up there and basically they didn't have any loaners so she had to go out get a rental car deal you know try to figure out if she can get a loaner from another dealership and it was just a big old mess like it was a huge huge mess so uh after you know we kind of bounced ideas and pros and cons off of each other he decided that he was going to go back and uh, lo and behold he go back the uh service advisor is like oh my gosh is the air not working he was like no nah, the air work he was like but my my steering wheel is shaking my car is shaking when i accelerate what's the problem the guy was like oh because your car has been sitting up for six months yes six months yes they've had the car for six months marinate on that for a second he was like oh because the car has been sitting up for six months it sounds like there are some air pockets i think that's what he said in the tire so we just need to uh make sure that all of the tires are at the appropriate air level and we're gonna go ahead and balance and rotate the tires okay wonderful why y'all didn't do that before you called to have us pick the car up it's like I've been given grace and patience throughout this entire situation. And, and, you know, to be clear, I'm not running out anytime soon. I'm going to continue to give grace and patience in the situation. Uh, but it's moments like that that we've had throughout this entire process that make us scratch our head. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, why you didn't think to do that beforehand? It, it, it reminded me of several months ago when they claimed to have fixed the issue with my husband's air tell him pick the car up he picked the car up and a day later the air goes back out again y'all fixed it and didn't test it out y'all was just like okay it's connected <laughs> come pick up your vehicle like what's happening like what's it, it i don't know but he took the car back 
he's back in the Santa Fe, the same Santa Fe that he's been in for the last six months. And um, hopefully, we're hoping that this afternoon, the car will be fixed. We're praying that today the car will be fixed and we can ride off my husband can ride off into the sunset and get his car because y'all he was so happy to have his car back he was so happy to have his darn car back and i get it i, I would have been too if it were me um but you know it, it was just like a little minor setback and he was real you know upset about it he didn't you know go off on the people nothing like that but he was just expressing his disappointment and i was like you know what i get it like it, it makes total sense and it is a very aggravating situation to think that you are over something you know you're you're you've concluded this portion of what you're currently going through all to have to turn right around and <laughs> psych you know what i mean bring your car back <laughs> we forgot to do something you know it's just like Come on, man. Just get it together, y'all. So I'm hoping that they get it together and husband can get his car. So that's an update on his vehicle. But anyway, it is now 819. Still have a little ways to go uh, for work. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into some YouTube. Y'all know how I do and know the vibes. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your week. It is Tuesday. Y'all hold on. We almost to Friday, baby. Do you hear me? Just hang on. Hang on. Friday is right around the corner. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. And Lord willing, I'll pick you guys up when I go to lunch. Hey y'all, let me turn that off before Snoop try to collect some of my coins. Knowing good and well, he don't need none. Good afternoon, family. I'm trying to find my darn AirPod case, per usual as always. I'm just gonna stick them down here. <clears throat> Got a random sock, mom life, right? Um, I hope you guys have been having a fantastic day today. It is 1.39. I'm on lunch with my extremely thick T-Mobile Tuesday bag because I left my T-Mobile, my other, because y'all know I got a few, T-Mobile Tuesday bag. And this is for those of y'all that's like, dang, sis is really committed to that bag. No, I have several. Um, I left this bag in the office last week or the last time I was there. And I didn't realize it until I was on the elevator. And I was like, baby... I'm not turning around going back. If somebody wants something up out of it, they can have it. Like, I'm not even tripping on it. Here is my lunch. Work has been going very well. Super busy. Uh, all morning, I've been responding to... Got my baby Coke. Um, I've been responding to a lot of emails. Sending emails. Sending follow-ups. Importing. When I imp Well, I did do a little bit of importing... Um, approved invoices uh that were approved over the weekend and on yesterday <clears throat> and i also indexed um some invoices that were received either late last week or while i was on vacation yesterday um and so far so good the day is moving and grooving so i will not complain the owner of my company is in the office again like i don't know if y'all can remember but maybe a vlog or two before this when I was telling y'all that the owner of my company was in that day and I usually only see the owner like once or twice a year. They done made about four, five, six guest appearances in, in the last two weeks. I mean, not that I mind, I don't care, but it's strange, it makes me go, hmm. I wonder what's going on, what's you know happening or whatever because I've been seeing the owner more frequently than I have in the as of recently than I have in the last eight plus years that I've been working with the company. But again, it don't matter to me, honey, because I'm there to do my job and go home. So whether they're there or not, it don't stop my show. I'ma still do what they cut me a check to do, okay? Cause the owner definitely cuts my check anyway i have two containers here giving very thick girl vibes uh because i couldn't fit everything into one container so i have my fish in my jambalaya in one container and my corn on the cob and my potato salad in the other i don't know how i'm gonna do this because i want to kind of get a little you know ski taste of everything but i also don't have room for that so this is my fish and my jambalaya if y'all can kind of see it 
Here's some jambalaya. Mmm. Have y'all ever had a boudin bao before? The inside consistency of a boudin bao is giving my jambalaya. And I am very impressed with myself. This is so freaking good. Hot rice, cheers. Mm-hmm. Oh, child, that is so good. Um, <clears throat> in other news, um, I went by my manager's office today. She and I were talking, chopping it up, filling her in because um, she started her vacation a few days before we were off of work. So I had to talk to her about some stuff. And all of a sudden, sis was like, so are you leaving early today? And I was like, huh? She was like, are you leaving early today? And I was like, why? She was like, well, we worked yesterday. I was like, I know. She was like, and we were supposed to be off yesterday. I was like, I know. She said, so leave early. You know, leave an hour or two early because you worked yesterday on your off day. That's my dog. That's my dog i was like oh girl say less like if you cool with it you my direct manager if you cool with it baby you like it i love it okay you ain't got to tell me twice you do not have to tell me twice at all so yes we will most definitely be leaving early because yes i was on the clock i gave y'all a little rant in the previous vlog about being on the clock while i'm off I really appreciate my manager looking out for me, looking out for us because she was supposed to be off as well. And uh, I think she went to her management and was like, look, me and Jennifer had to work. So therefore we need to be compensated in some sort of way. And that's why she my dog. She my work dog. And I appreciate her for that. Mm. Mm hmm. It's 2.04, I have smashed all my food. I didn't finish it. I had um, some potato salad left. I didn't eat all of my corn on the cob. I did have like a piece and a half of fish left and I ate the majority of the jambalaya. That's the downside to having my meals split in separate containers. I kind of had to eat over here and eat over here versus, I mean, that might not be a downside now that I think about it because sis didn't finish the whole meal. Because if I would have had everything in one setting, I probably would have smashed on it even harder than what I did. But anywho, I digress. Lunch was really good. I was just chopping it up with my good sis Shayna J. Hey girl, hey. Uh, her channel name is called Shayna J and Eric Vlogs. Hello, my brother Eric. Peace and blessings to you both. Um, I was chopping it up with my good sis. She had watched uh, and commented on the video that I posted yesterday. I'll put the thumbnail to that video on the screen now. In the event you have not checked it out, uh, but basically I was sharing with you guys that the one of the dresses that I had wore to work really gave me a confidence boost and you know had me looking at myself a little different because the dress once fit tight in the arm area and when I put it on it wasn't tight in the arm area and I was like what okay note to self keep going in the gym or whatever and uh Shayna J um commented on that video and then she also messaged me on instagram and she was like sis i need an accountability partner like, we're not done you can't really see it in this black dress but i'm definitely very much so still conducting the train the train to unbig my arms and i am welcoming anyone who would like to join me on again operation unbig our arms because it's not cute it ain't cute at all to be told you look like you could cook based on the size of your arms. It ain't cute. It's not cute when a churn come up behind you and do this. That's not cute. It's not cute when you holding a baby and the baby is just caressing your arm. Like, that's not cute. Like, I just be wanting to rebuke it all, okay? This is where I'm at. Just flailing arms and all. I just want to rebuke it all, okay? I want to know how to cook. I want to I wanna receive affirmations that my meals are delicious. But based on the skill set in the kitchen not based on my arm i don't want nobody to invite me 
nowhere and asked me for 50 11 dishes because they looked at my arm and sized me up and was like yeah go ahead on and run us a couple pans of your best dish because we know you finna come through like ah, mm -mm, ain't nobody got time for that okay ain't nobody got time for that so she is now connected we are now connected with each other uh through the apple watch and conveniently child i get connected with my good sis and whole watch die i took my watch off yesterday when i uh made it to the crib i took it off where i stood and at the time i was standing in my closet and that's where i found it this morning almost dead and i forgot to uh bring my charger with me so that i can charge it up but I sent my good sis a message and was like, look, my, my watch is dead right now, so you're not going to see no activity from me. But as soon as I get home, <laughs> especially because we're leaving early today, right, I'm going to charge it up and get to work an hour. I'll be needing help as well. I'll be needing an accountability partner. And I know sometimes it may come across like, oh, sis, you got it together. You get up, you go to the gym, you faithful, you know, but it's it's hard like it's hard to get up and be like okay let's you know let's go ahead and do it it'd be many a times when i'm driving to the gym and i'm like i just simply don't want to do this like i don't want to do this it's times when i'm walking in and i'm like uh, -uh get somebody else to do it i want to turn around so bad get back in my car and drive back to my crib so to have somebody like Shayna j watching me and i'm watching her and us occasionally tapping in with each other to make sure that we are indeed on the right track to unbig these arms okay um it's a blessing to me and i appreciate you so much sis i mean i of course i have already thanked her real time uh for even reaching out and wanting to be connected in that way uh but you know how i do okay uh thanks and praise is 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 what i do you know what i mean i definitely like to give people um or express rather my gratitude to individuals and i really appreciate you for reaching out to me and wanting to connect with me again in that way and i'm looking forward i'm looking forward to losing inches in my arms you know what i mean i'm i'm praying that you see the progress that you want to see on your side of town as well and lord willing we just gonna do the dang thing together okay together but in the meantime y'all be sure to check out their channel i say their channel because they also have a podcast channel as well as a vlogging channel and i'll be sure to put both of those up on the screen now show them some love and i'll have them linked down below in the description box it's 210 um i could get some editing done i do have a vlog queued up in my um in my iMovie y'all I was watching the news and I almost got got. So y'all know I watch the news on, on uh, my computer at work. I don't like actually watch the news when I get home. Speaking of, that's Shana J and Eric right now. Hey y'all, uh, commenting on today's video. Um, yeah, that I was watching the news and uh, I saw an article that said Apple is paying people for their old devices. So of course, you know, cause I don't got no self control to just scroll on and look at something that actually matters, you know, in the world right now, especially with everything going on. Nope, I look right on at the stuff I shouldn't be looking at. And uh, I saw that for my laptop, uh they give it for my type of laptop they're giving up to i think like eleven hundred dollars for a laptop and mine is in bomb condition and i can upgrade y'all that's what i need an accountability partner for if somebody can hold me accountable hold me and my wallet accountable put it in the comment section down below let's link okay because that's that's <laughs> Woo, it'd be the lack of self-control for me. But then my wheels got to turn and I was like, okay, but I could use another computer. How? Why? Your computer work fine, girl. It's turned on. I mean, yeah, you know, you got a little crack right here. But baby, that ain't nothing that, you know, another little another little cover, little laptop cover won't won't fix, you know, from Amazon or whatever. But I was looking at that. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was really doing the multiplication and the subtraction and the division, and I carried the two and I added the three, and then I divided some more of my money because that's, you know, I'm definitely gonna come out of pocket. And uh, I eventually just clicked off the article. Like, girl, stop being delusional. Stop, stop being delusional. Like, cut it out. 
back up okay do not pass go you cannot collect 200 to turn around and give it right back to apple for a laptop that you don't need like it's just a whole mess a whole mess but before i let y'all go y'all let me know how i did on my eyebrows because i didn't even address the elephant in the room i came to y'all as no bra bay this morning and it popped in like ain't nothing changed during lunch as brow bay i did my brows at work and i mean it's not my best work it's i mean it is giving it's giving fraternal twins it's it's definitely it's definitely uh better than cousins we're not giving cousin vibes but it's giving fraternal twins i mean i've done better but i'm just thankful to have eyebrows on child so again i'm not walking around town looking like sick sickly or whatever but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go and stop rambling with y'all we definitely gonna call this a chatty blog because honey when i tell y'all i chatted it up with y'all yes chatted it up with y'all uh on my way to work and now yeah and i really do hope y'all enjoy it but anyway have a great rest of your day whatever you find yourself doing it is 2 14 so if you're at work like me hold on the end of the work day is near to god be the glory for that I'll be picking you guys up early, so don't be alarmed when I pick y'all up and talk about the vibes and how the vibes is earlier than 5 o'clock, okay? Okay? All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Good afternoon, fam. It is 4, 16. Y'all already know the vibes because I told y'all at lunch we are off of work. I did leave work um, at about... 357 350 somewhere along there pretty much four o'clock uh is when i left the office sent my little email and was like if y'all need me holla tomorrow because <laughs> man i promise if y'all bother me today i'm gonna take another hour okay i need a full uninterrupted hour and honestly my manager was like you could take one or two hours um because i was on the clock when i was doing all that ranting and raving yesterday about them bothering me uh asking me for something after i had agreed to log in that morning and take care of what was needed to be taken care of i did after i talked all that noise with y'all i did log in again that's why my manager was like if you want to take two hours you can take two instead of one because she and i were communicating well after that once i made it home shower got comfortable i logged in and went ahead and took care of what i needed to take care of so i keep on telling y'all don't listen to me okay do not listen to me because yes i will talk noise i will talk my noise i will be aggravated but when it comes down to my job i'll play around with them people okay if they really need something and look how god bless gonna take off an hour or two my servant goodbye and and i did see you later thank you guys thank you so very much guys so i'm on my way to the crib hopefully i can miss some of the ghetto afternoon rush hour traffic because it usually starts to build up around five o'clock um aside from me hoping that i can beat rush hour traffic i don't have nothing planned i'm going home i'm gonna charge up my watch i'm gonna get me a little workout in i'm gonna take my hair down thank god for pump it up edge control in this here headband because beyond the headband point all this back here is very sketchy but y'all don't know that though y'all don't know that because it's it's giving cute right here but oh baby it is giving matted struggle nappy unkept vibes right behind this here <laughs> headband so i definitely am going to take my hair down i really wanted to go ahead and knock my hair out yesterday my husband has his show at i was about to say san jacinto college nope at university of houston clear lake campus yeah he has his show at the university of houston the clear lake campus on the second which is this saturday coming up um, so I want my hair to semi kind of be fresh for that not to mention I'm behind on recording a sit down video uh, because husband got sick we have an unboxing and review video that we should have filmed last week but of course he got sick and then we have a couple's video that uh, I wanted he and I to sit down and film again couldn't do that because he was sick so I'm hoping now 
that he is better if i can uh at least start the takedown process get that over and done with and i can wash my hair um while he's gone style it all that other stuff while he's at work tomorrow and i'm at home after i come back from the gym then i am hoping by the time he makes it home there's still plenty enough sunlight and we can knock out both of these videos well, y'all seem to really enjoy me and paul's banter whenever we link up when we around the house and we going somewhere when we out and about i promise y'all it's always that back and forth and a lot of times we get like people will overhear us and they'll get the laughing and chuckling and we'll get them involved like uh the video that i posted uh when he was mr toilet man i'll put the thumbnail to that video uh, on the screen now the part that got edited out one of many parts that got edited out right because you can't show every single thing in the vlog because y'all really be all of all of all of all of in my business and i just want y'all to back up a little bit and just have a little bit of my business okay just a little bit uh but we were going so fed with the doggone Lowe's worker like he was such a cool dude and we were just going back and forth. We was including him in our banter and he was a good sport about it. It was laughing and joking with us as well. Like he was a super cool dude. And usually that's how it go. You know, we out and about, we have a good time with each other. People see that it's infectious. Sometimes they get in and joke with us. Other times they just be laughing at us because we don't care where we're at. Like we just, we just have fun with each other. And good news, good news. Husband has his car back. Yay, for real this time. Because last time it was a husband got his car back. Psych, he back in the rental again. <laughs> kind of situation. But this time I'm for real. I'm not pulling y'all leg. I ain't jacking y'all chain. Husband has his car. Uh, the people test drove it, which I don't know why that's even an announcement. But with the folks we've been dealing with, it's an announcement that they tested their work. Kudos to them. Uh, and then husband also made sure to, you know, do, do cut, you know, cut a couple corners, bend a block a little bit, you know, here and there to make sure that everything was on the up and up. He got there super early in the day. I think he made it there like around three o'clock because uh, my boo is ready for his car. OK, he was ready for his vehicle and he called sounding very pleased and happy uh, that they got it right. So, you know, just shoot up a prayer that. We don't have any more car issues at all at our household whatsoever. Give us a break. Lord, ease up just the speech, okay? <laughs> if it be your will. But I'm really happy for my boo that he got his car back. So now we are back to being an all Hyundai Sonata family if you are new here. Uh, me and husband and our son have the same car he my son our son has a trim level under ours but it's a 2021 and ours is 2021s also so we pretty much all have the same vehicle uh slight differences between our cars and zay's uh, we have a panoramic roof he doesn't um and then he also has some features that our car doesn't have because you know they got to spice it up a little bit between uh the different trim levels of the cars but yeah y'all we're back to having all three sonatas super happy about that and that is pretty much it it should be a really low-key and chill afternoon um in terms of like dinner i don't have to cook anything we should have plenty enough leftovers that is if your nephew did not sit up and eat all that doggone food today because he was off and i know that he's been at home all day because i haven't seen like any movement or anything like that from my security cameras outside um so hopefully he at least left some for paul because i don't think I'll, I'll probably eat some more tomorrow but eating it for lunch and then coming in the car and smelling the leftovers i i'm not feeling it right now i could change my mind but as of right now mm, I don't know or I might have the sides and just switch up the protein and have fish tomorrow because we do have some of those uh, seven spice Asian wings from Walmart in the freezer I could pop those in the air fryer and then have my sides with that because I know that that would slam with my sides and then have the uh fish with the sides tomorrow because y'all know i gotta trick my palate child because if you new here i do not like leftover 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 leftovers i had dinner last night 
then I had the dinner for lunch today so I'm gonna have to do something to switch it up in order for me to give it a go another time or two before I'm like you know what mm -mm, get somebody else to do it did about a 35 minute workout and and they is still killing it still killing the game with these at home uh cardio workouts partner noise in the background now husband has migrated from making noise upstairs <laughs> to making noise in the bathroom he putting on a whole concert but anyway um i really enjoyed my workout sis is winded okay Considering that I have not done and a workout, um, had to have been has to have been at least two months. I remember doing one like a one-off workout um, recently, like within the last month, two, three. Hell, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage, and I'll put it on the screen if I can remember to do so during editing. But it's been a hot minute since I've consistently done and a fitness i used to do and a fitness at least like two to three times a week right but considering that i have not caught up with my girls because i'm the third men member of and a fitness in my head right uh i think i did pretty good definitely winded um because dance cardio is different from just straight running on a treadmill or doing whatever motion that is a light jog motion a light run motion on the uh, elliptical it's it's way different way way different um and my body feels it and i can feel it in my breathing as well but i'm really glad that i did it i know that i'm gonna feel it all over and that's what i really like about and date fitness um through through the different dance moves that they do um, it works out everything. Child, when I first started doing and day fitness, my darn hands used to hurt. You, do you hear me? My my hands used to hurt. Sis used to be sore from head to toe, and that's how I know that I am doing something right. Uh, so I'm really glad that I tapped into and day fitness. Child, I tried, attempted to learn this ice spice, but I I ain't got no energy in me. But I can tell that it's going to be a very good workout that is new fresh choreo that i have not seen it doesn't look familiar to me thus far and i got about six minutes into the video there's uh two parts to the ice spice video in the adventure of wondering uh the first is 13 minutes and the second video is six they sometimes chop down their videos into two parts instead of one entire video uh but yeah really really good the time now is six 50 so i'm making pretty good timing um i'm gonna cool off my husband is in the bathroom when he gets out i am of course going to shower um nobody's hungry right now zay just came down with a plate of food well with his trash so i figured he not too long ago ate so i probably won't have to worry about making him any food for at least the next hour or two um for me this might sound random but i'm craving um two egg rolls uh the heb chicken egg rolls y'all that are so freaking bomb i'm craving those with a couple tater tots 
I had it the other night when I was hungry but didn't know what to eat and it hit the spot. You know what I mean? It's random as hell. Don't get me wrong. It's <laughs> random as hell but it hit the spot so I might run that back again. Just throw the egg rolls and the uh, tater tots uh, in the air fryer. Let it do what it do and call it a day. Stop more.